Josh, first question, how are you guys doing this? How do the Padres go from 5-15 and 15 in April to where you are right now? Um, it's a good team. I mean, and, and I say that like the real, real meaning of team. I mean, it's 25 guys, more than 25 guys, and sort of different guys every night contributing. I mean, we try to build a roster with depth. We've needed every bit of it. And, um, and, and I think last year's finish gave us some confidence. I mean, at 5-15, and 15, I think we were pretty frustrated. We thought we were better than that. Right. And, um, you know, it, but it's been good to see. I mean, it, it really is, you know, as complete of a team um, and we've needed it as you know I've been around in quite a while but you said it's a good team but the thing is you haven't had your team I mean you use you lose Yonder Alonso and Everett Cabrera and Cam Mabin and Quentin up and down and Headley isn't Chase Headley yet and you're still winning is it more about the versatility of the roster you've, you've built I think it's helped and you know um, we, had, we that was something we really emphasized last year is like developing and acquiring a lot of players who can play multiple positions just to deal with everything that can go on. I mean, it's never going to go plan A. And I think that that is gratifying that we're winning and our, our, we're scoring runs. And it's not as if you even look at our position player group, like everything's gone right. Some guys have either gotten hurt or struggled a little bit. So um, we've needed it and it's been good to see. But, you know, the guys who stepped in, you know, we haven't skipped a beat. And Jed Jericho's close to return and hopefully. But are you guys, how impressed are you by, by what you've seen from him offensively and defensively? Very impressed. You know, I, I was pretty confident he, he would handle second base, just seeing him a lot in the minors last year and kind of knowing his makeup, and, he, and, uh, and he's a good infielder. But, you know, adjusting to the caliber pitching you, you face in the big leagues and in this division, you know, for three weeks he, he was a little caught in between, and then, and then he, he started to figure it out and really started to lock in and, and be very productive. So I give him a lot of credit for having a, a very rapid learning curve. Now, I think now, going back to April, when you had that slow start, Already it was like, all right, here we go again with the Padres. This, this team, you know, it was about these guys. Who, who will be gone? You know, who's going to be in the trade deadline? Do you see yourself now becoming buyers rather than sellers at the trade deadline? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, I mean, even starting last July, when sort of our, our decisions were more to keep this group together right. through the off season, you know, and so on and so forth. Like we, we thought we've got the makings of a good team, a good roster here, um, you know, but. You know, time is precious. When we have an opportunity like now, if we can improve it, uh, we've got to look to try to do that. Um, but, you know, for 12 months, we played pretty well. But, you know, to be a, a team that's good enough to play in October, we need to get better, and, and we're going to try to do that. So well, is adding payroll an issue or, or not? No. I mean, we, we've been very disciplined, and ownership's been great. And, uh, you know, I mean, everything is sort of you value it, what we'd have to give up, how good is the player, how much does he cost, you know, how long is the contract, all that. But it's certainly, you know, I think the the – you know, discussion internally is like, if it's the right guy, let's go do it. Let's try to improve ourselves. How much are you enjoying watching Hunter Renfro in the College World Series? You know, I missed some of today, but I, I guess uh, he put on a good show today, and uh, that's great. You know, it's it's um, it'd be great to, to have him finish off his college career that way, win the championship, and uh, we're excited to get him. Uh, but it, we're all watching. Last guy I want to ask you about is Everett Cabrera. I think Buddy Black said on Tuesday that there's there's a bunch of good guys on this team he likes who could be all stars, but Everett Cabrera is, to him was no, no doubt an all star. He is playing the best baseball of, of his career. What do you think, what, what clicked for him this season? I don't know. He's had a weird developmental track with the Rule 5, then going back and, and then getting hurt in AAA. Um, so I think like spending some time in AAA last year, I think his offense got better. Phil Plantier and Alonzo Powell have done a great job. His right-hand hitting's gotten better. And, you know, the one thing that I think for any player, his mentality of playing every day, even though he's hurt now, is tremendous. I mean, he, he plays really hard every day, and obviously, you know, his style of play is demanding with the stolen bases and the defense. So, um, you know, he, he brings it every day. That's that's a big deal for it's us. Funny, because I asked him a couple weeks ago. I, I'm like, well, what's your number one goal this season? His he said what it was it was to play every single day. And he plays like it. And again, I mean, as a shortstop who steals bases, I mean, his day is a pretty active day, and and he, and you know, he rarely looks tired, or, or you know, he's got a great great energy about him, and and you know. It's funny, I would have said that a few weeks ago with Headley and, and Cabrera and Jerko and Alonzo, all four of those guys kind of have that mentality, and, and now three of them are hurt. So, you know, it's just the way the game is. What are you expecting from Carlos Quentin from here on out? Uh, I think he's feeling better, and, you know, he's starting to really swing the bat well here in recent weeks. So, um, you know, obviously he's a real threat when he's in there, and he's playing pretty well defensively. So uh, we've got to be smart about it, but, you know, we're, we're a different team when he's in there.